Hello everyone, this is Meredith and as you see below me I have the Julio box I've been waiting for for a week now and I'm very excited to unbox this and do a comparison to my VDS. So let us go, oh not that way, <laughs> let's see here. When I got the box, as you can see, I didn't see anything wrong with it, which I was worried because it's been like snowstorming all over the country this week. Ah, so I have the noise here. What is this? It's my invoice. Okay. Ooh, all right. Wow, I've never had a Julio box before. It's much nicer than the VDS box. So here, the VDS box is just kind of thinner, I would say, than the Julio box. Oh my god. I've been waiting to do this for six years, <laughs> or since 2014, so seven years now. Oh my god. Okay, so my first thing is like there's sparkles on it. I don't know if this is going to pick that up. But why are there sparkles on it? Anyways, okay, <laughs> I don't care why there's sparkles on it really. Um, Okay, I'm gonna smell it. Okay, yes. It smells like leather. This is not what I was expecting it to feel like. I really, really love the feel of it. I love it more than I honestly thought I would. And since the light's on, people always say this, but like it doesn't pick up the right color, like it's full black black. So this is the Julio A5 charcoal matte with cream by color as you see by the contrast stitching oh, ooh, this hardware looks nice wow okay let me, let me put this down for a second put these over there i'll keep that I honestly don't really like the um, ribbons, bookmarks, but I don't think I'll cut them out in case I ever want to sell this potentially. And I also don't want to leave like that little where you can see it because it's white inside. Leather on the inside. One, two, three, four, five, six pockets. One here one here, a secretarial pocket, and the zip pocket, an elasticated pen loop, I just got the map, or the, I don't know what this is called, I'm not a ballpoint pen fan, so I didn't really care about the pen, but it comes with one for free, so I will go for that, <laughs> and it has the big back pocket which is also okay so first impression it is beautiful and what I am going to use this for let's see hopefully is two Stayology notebooks. So first let's see if it'll fit a half year and a full year. Um, in here. And it does easily, oh, I can't see, where is it? Where am I? There we go. 
you can still fit a pen in there and be snug. It's kind of up to the edge, but there's no overhang except for this tab here. Um, but there's no overhang on the book. Wow. Okay. Um, okay, so I feel like I... I honestly need a process. <laughs> I really love it. I think it's beautiful. Um, I do want to do a comparison to my VDS and the Moturn, all A5 printers, or all A5 covers. Things I like about, well, we'll see. Okay, so let me get my VDS out and the Moturn out. Y'all in frame here. Okay, let me take out my planner from there. Okay, so so just like first impressions of the VDS and the Julio. I know they're two different leathers, but I do like the leather of the Julia better. I mean, of the Vanderspeck better. I love the shininess of it, which is funny because I know this is a matte, but it does smell like leather. But I, I just really like the feel of the VDS better, honestly. However, I do feel like the Julio is more like classy looking, and I think it has to do with the edges. And the contrasting stitching sticks out more because of the, the madness. So here's a closer look. Okay, and then the Moturn, I mean, is the Moturn. <laughs> I think it's good for the price, and I don't hate on it at all. I use Moturn for my wallet, but when we're just talking quality here, I mean, it just doesn't compare to these two. So, first I'm going to do a comparison of all three of what you get in L3. So... In the Julio, you get one, two, three, four, five, six card slots, a out facing side pocket, your book slips, a zipper pocket, elasticated pen loop, and a secretarial pocket, and the big back pocket. In the Mo term, you get one, two, three, four, five, six card slots. The two slip pockets and the book cover so there's an extra one here then you have this slip and the book cover so this doesn't have the zipper here this does not have an elasticated pen loop and then the secretarial pocket so very similar with the Vanderspeck, I got mine customized, so I'll tell you what I did. But you get one, two, three card slots and one, two full pockets there. So one less here. I added the outward facing slip pocket to match. And then you have the book pocket the book pocket and then this pocket here so you don't get a secretarial in the bds and you don't get a zipper either you do get an elasticated pin loop and i added the big back pocket which doesn't come naturally now this does not come with bookmarks you can add them but i'm not a bookmark fan i think they get in the way uh, so 
So those are kind of the differences. Now I want to go through the size differences. So first, the Moterm and the Julio. As you see, the Julio is about a half inch bigger, longer that way, and almost the same exact height. I think the Julio has it by maybe like a millimeter. I want to see if it would fit everything I put in my VDS. Wow, oh, that's it slid, slid in there, super nice. So these are the two books I put, and no, it will not fit what I have in the VDS, which is good because I got the VDS widened so it would fit both of these books in here, knowing how thick they are, and they it does not fit both of those, but it will fit the full year. It just slides in there so easy. And a half year stayology easily. It just will not fit the Hoponiji cousin and a half year, or at least I put stickers in mine, so. Okay, so now the size comparison to the VDS. So, as you see here, the VDS is about a half an inch, probably three quarters of an inch bigger than that. And again, with the Moterm, it's over an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter bigger. Now, the Moterm cost me $50. The Julio cost me about $300. And the VDS cost me about $360 to $80. So you're definitely looking at $50, $300, close to $400. But I did get exactly what I wanted in the VDS, and it, as I just showed you, um, the Julia wouldn't have fit what I wanted it to fit in there. So I'm very happy about this. Let me just slide this back in here. I think the hardware looks a little bit nicer in the Julia than it does on. Well, it's just a little bit bigger. So I don't know if you can see that. The clasp on the Julio is just a tad bit bigger. Okay. So let me go ahead and put this in here. Just like that. I am going to treat this leather. I'm trying to describe what this feels like because they kept saying suede. But in my mind, suede feels more like velvet, but maybe I'm just thinking about that wrong. I'm also still wondering why there are sparkles all over this. Like there's legit like sparkles <laughs> on it. Not in the... On, not like built into the planner, but like on the planner. I definitely, if you watch my unboxing of my VDS, like I had way more excitement <laughs> with this. The Julio is beautiful. It is. I just thought I would. I don't know. I don't know why I'm, it's not like speaking joy to me. It's beautiful. But like this, this is like, I don't know. I guess I might be a BDS fan. I'll probably just have to try some other leathers. Like 
I really, these, as you see, all three of these are both all Croco. And I did that because I feel like the Smooth or Poco or those types of leathers get scratched really easily. Whereas these have a coating on them. Like I could scratch this Moturn all day and it's not going to scratch. This I'd be a little bit more careful with, but it's not going to easily scratch. And then this, I don't know how that's going to wear yet, but I'm going to put some conditioner on it before I start using it. I don't know. I might have to do a follow-up video. I, with my unboxing, I figured I would get the raw emotion, but honestly, I didn't get a lot of ton of emotion feeling out of this, and... What does that make me want to do? Go buy more Julio's of different kinds and see if I'm just a BDS girl or if it's just this charcoal now. I don't know. That's so weird to me. Maybe it'll... Things... Sometimes I get overwhelmed at the very beginning because, like like I said, I have been... I've been in the planner community, like... In the Julia fan page and wanting a Julia since 2014 and I well one couldn't afford it at first and then two I just told myself I didn't need it and then seven years later I have both the BDS and the Julio and I think I'm just processing also I forgot to do the height comparison but the BDS is just like a smidge taller, like you wouldn't even probably notice that. And then the van, uh, the Moturn is shorter than both of them, probably by about two centimeters there. How does this ballpoint fit? Does it provide like a regular ballpoint like that you would buy at the store? Let's see here. And it's blue. Ew. Yeah, I'm not really a fan. I'm, I do know that some people change these out to a gel pen because gel pens, actually the, um, these are the only pens that I write with. Mild liners, or sorry, um, micro, Pigma Microns in 01 or 03, but I like 01 the best. So, hmm, interesting. Well, here you have it, the unboxing of the Julio Charcoal Matte with Cream by Color and the comparison to the BDS. And I'm not going to do a setup video because I'm not, I mean, I'll probably end up sticking some stuff in there. If this is the Poco leather, sorry if you like see my face randomly in here. Um does have lots of texture. They're all slightly different colors. It is leather on the inside. But if this is the polka leather, is it? I'll have to look at that. Like, is the cream the polka leather? Feels weird. Is beautiful though. What is the stitching? Sorry, my whole head's in the way. The stitching. There's matching on the inside. Let's stick this in here. I don't know, guys. I'm underwhelmed, though it's beautiful. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I just think that I miscalculated. My style on this which is so funny because this is the exact same thing but just more shiny anyways i will use it and see how it fares um probably not gonna sell it or anything i mean carrying two a5s is probably also not gonna happen so i'm gonna have to figure it out i think i mean i work from home so I mean, it's not like a big deal or anything but what an interesting feeling to that. I don't know how to explain it. I'm gonna have to think about it. 
10. Makes your hands smell a little weird, but it's okay. The pattern is great. They matched it on the strap with tearing here and the BDS, as you can tell, there's definitely a lot more raised and you can tell it's a lot more raised on the side. I don't know if that has anything to do with the mat or not or if all the crocos are like this, but it's very flat versus this is very dimensioned. So there we have it. Um, this is my whole system though. So this is still like my planning system, but this is just kind of holds my notebooks because these are notebooks that I need to, to reference to um, throughout the year. So, but they can't all fit in here, you know? <laughs> so um, this is gonna be my reference notebook here and then my planning system in here so that is everything I think um I feel like that was slightly underwhelming hopefully it wasn't for you guys but let me know your thoughts on the two and what your initial reactions are on that I mean they're both beautiful they are one more close up dog hair. Also, I already feel the dot here. Chaz right about on the Julia, but close up with cream. I think this is going to be pretty durable. I'm just going to treat it first and we'll see. But yeah. So, thank you for watching the video. And just to end this off, I will say between the three, if you don't want to spend three, four hundred dollars on a planner, go for the Moterm. It worked really well for me. And I really wasn't worried about, you know, messing it up. It's kind of affordable, and so I just use it as I needed to use it, and it's beautiful, and $50 on Amazon, two-day shipping. The Gilio, um only does restocks of certain colors and certain sizes, so you might wait a really long time. If you find a Gilio online that you like and it's not in stock, who knows when it'll come back. And then the VDS is going to take you 8 to 10 weeks to get because they custom make it and that's their production time right now. So there's definitely different things, but thus far I haven't one of each. I will be testing out more Julia's and more VDS's. <laughs> I actually already have another VDS on the way, also a Croco. So I think my next planner is going to be a Julia Opoka. So I can see what that's all about. Um... How you're seeing the color now also is definitely kind of true to what it looks like. And as I used, as I was just saying, like looking through the camera now, see how flat that looks and then see how much definition is in that one. I like the definition more for sure, but it feels so good. It does. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but okay. I'm just rambling now. So have a great rest of your day and whatever that it is that you're doing and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.